So uh, when I was still working on my PhD at Rutgers, uh, working on estuarine ecology, um, one of the fish that I uh, captured was called a little striped cuskiel. It's a small cryptic, it's not an eel, it's more related to the cod-like fishes, but it's long and slender like an eel. Uh, but not much is known about the fish. And I knew from a friend of mine that the fish made sounds. And I never worked with fish sounds or anything, so. But also knew that no one knew much about the eggs or larvae of these fish, and it was a very abundant um, uh, species that was captured in uh, surveys on the coast, but there were three species and no one knew how to distinguish them. So we decided to try on a side project to spawn the fish in a laboratory. And we successfully spawned the fish and what was interesting, um, they, at sunset, right at clockwork, they started, the male started calling and it's a loud woodpecker-like sound. And at the time we had no equipment for recording us underwater. We just put a tape recorder, old-fashioned tape recorder on the side of the tank and just recorded their sounds. Um, the fish spawned, we were able to get the eggs and, and early larvae and colleagues were able to use that to then distinguish between the three species offshore and they published an important work on that. And <clears throat> I forgot about it for a few years. I graduated, um, went off to work at Woods Hole and uh, then sometime later uh, a colleague was passing through my old professor Ken Abel at Rickers and he mentioned uh, this and this colleague David Mann uh, had done his work and was an expert on fish sounds and when he heard that we recorded this striped cuscule he's like oh no one's ever recorded um, any fish of that group of fishes no one's ever recorded any of them so he got excited he got a copy of our tape and Eventually, we published together the first report of fish sounds from that uh, whole order of fishes. Um, and um, we, uh, I then forgot about it again, went off my work with, uh, at Woods Hole. Um, and then some years later, I was at a uh, conference in Woods Hole, and uh, Dr. Uh, James Miller from University of Rhode Island was talking about tracking dolphin uh, with uh, acoustic tracking them as they echolocate around gill nets to try to figure out how to have them avoid the gill nets. And I asked him, oh, can you do that with fish? And I got the response that I've gotten many, many, many times since then, oh, I didn't know that fish made sounds. <clears throat> and so that got me interested in fish sounds and ever since I've been working with fish sounds. And um, it turns out that um, striped cuskiel are in that area Woods Hole. When I first started getting interested, I started going all the way back down in New Jersey to sample this fish because I knew it was there. And later I found that it was right there on Cape Cod, but no one knew it was right there in Cape Cod. Um, and it's actually quite abundant on Cape Cod. Um, and the way I found them was by listening for them. And the thing is, Cape Cod and Woods Hole Massachusetts is one of the most intensely sampled area in the world. Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, Marine Biological Laboratory, National Marine Fisheries Service, all kinds of programs there. Um, and they didn't know that this fish was there except as a very rare straggler. And so with the passive acoustics, I was like, well, geez, these things are all over in the estuaries and in, in, in shore. Um, <clears throat> and then the public started finding out about it, and I would get um, letters and there were some articles published in popular sailing magazines about this this sound that sailors have been hearing for many years and they thought it was some underwater monster or something because it's a loud sound coming through the hull of the sailing ship and it turns out to be this little striped cuskill. <laughs>